at the markets digesting uh, the finance minister continuing whether or not it's going to reflect in the budget or not let's just listen in to what et now's editor-in-chief has said just a while ago this is his take nikunj's uh, take on the portfolio allocations well the election cycle has changed it may be called as a coalition sarkar but from a government standpoint from a market standpoint what is important is that it is going to be pretty much an extension of what good work we've seen in last 10 years so from a market standpoint market should take mighty relief the concern in the market was that first will coalition politics have an impact on the economic growth i guess that looks unlikely the compulsions of the coalition if one really looks at the top ministerial berth and the key ministries the compulsions of coalition are not getting captured in the current allocation the fact that the home minister the defense minister the finance minister the railway minister all of them in a sense have been given uh, an extension of their portfolio it is a clear endorsement by the modi government and by pm modi himself that they really want to keep the ball rolling uh, each ministry if you really talk about it i think they have been there have been some big achievements in the finance ministry by the home ministry in the by the you know external affairs ministry what it means is that the election cycle has come and gone the center stage and the narrative may be mili juli sarkar or coalition sarkar but from a market standpoint nothing changes and that i think will be a mighty relief so yeah, i think large part of the election surprise i think is something which already has got adjusted we saw that shocking tuesday and after the shocking tuesday we've seen a comeback when on wednesday and a magical friday followed by a stable monday so from a market standpoint what it means is that the recovery what we've seen on hopes of continuity that only gets endorsed more and more that clearly means that if you really look at the hallmark of and i'm purely talking about the finance ministry here if you look at the hallmark of uh, nirmala sitaraman's tenure it is implementation of gst how the indian retail investor in a sense uh, was able to understand uh, how you know tax tax rates they came down we saw massive surge in the sip business we saw a great ease of doing business when it comes to the tax regime we clearly could be in for more of the same i think what it also means that from a market standpoint the big theme which is capex uh, energy transition focus on ev semiconductor building new india road infrastructure which in a sense has been really driving india's gdp and india's you know growth i think that will continue uh, what is important for us also you know sumita to point out for our viewers is that this current portfolio allocation does not spark up what could be called as a coalition compulsion so coalition compulsion which was a fear from the market that takes a back seat and market stability and continuity comes back in terms of an center stage well that's the editor's take now in terms of policy continuity it remains if you like this video then like share and subscribe to et now